Okay, so another, another way to attack the legs where we're looking at having complete control of both legs. One of the ways, of course, is to work like a saddle position when I'm here and I switch it into a leg knot. However, what I can also do is I can work both legs over the top. So when, um, when I'm in this situation here and Nan goes to push this foot down to escape it, because I have an active hook, I'm going to lift, bring this leg back through, kick this away, and as it drops here, this leg is going to step right over. I'm looking to try and get control just about round his knees. If I go too high, I can't like get my feet together, and then Nam's nasty with his footlocks anyway. I don't want him to be giving him anything like this where he's going to start attacking me. Okay, especially because it's not his video, it's mine. And I don't want him to be submitting me. Okay, we get that. So what I'm looking at, I'm bringing this leg over, yeah, and then this leg is going to triangle. And I'm going to try and stick this foot right under like his body here. So while he's thinking about trying to dig this out to attack it, I'm attacking this, yeah? If I keep this grip to start with, it makes it super simple. So I'm in a position here, I've got this control, and I'm looking to push the foot down, I keep this active. I'm gonna bring him back over, as I take this leg out, kick it through, straight over the top. I hide this, yeah? He's thinking about maybe being able to do something with this. While he's thinking about attacking that, I'm getting my weight back onto here, and he's getting this, which makes him tap super quick. Why this and the previous one seems so tight is because when I bend his leg, I take his quads out of the equation. If I go here, like this, Nam straightens his leg, I can literally lift myself off the floor and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it, yeah? When it's this way, I've taken the quad out of the equation. And I can just sit here, kind of just chilling. I want him to try and straighten his leg. He can't straighten it, it won't go. I've put a bend in his leg, which means that I'm just concentrating on knee downwards. As soon as he gets his quad into the equation, much more difficult for me to attack. Against somebody strong, even if I'm really hanging back and catching the toes under my armpit, against a strong quad, I might still be struggling a little bit. So I don't want to struggle. I want to go the route that's going to give me the best results with the least possibility of him being able to escape. Okay? So this is the one. So we're into here. I'm looking to catch this. He's looking to go and escape. I've got my active hook. I'm going to bring him back. Kick this through, step straight over, triangle, and hide my foot. You know, it's that I hide my foot and I'm putting my body straighter. So I can really get this out of the way. While he's maybe thinking about there must be something there to attack, I'm hanging my weight on this and I'm getting my submission. Okay, let's we'll do that from the other side. So in this position here, everything's going great, but he decides at this point, he's spotted a weakness, he's going to attack. Lift and catch. Bring this back through, kick this leg away, circle this straight over, triangle, hide the foot right away. Now you can see from here, talks about the angle, talks about catching the toes, putting my weight onto it, little twist, and there's the footlock. 